Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. This one is a VSCO2 piano, or basically the Vasilian Studios Chamber Orchestra 2 piano. This one's amazing. If you're annoyed with me saying Vasilian Studios over and over again, the main reason why is because their plugins, especially their orchestral plugins, whether I'm simulating a piano or a flute or a violin or whatever, are the best free plugins, hands down. And I think when it comes to pianos, there are so many free piano plugins out there, right? If you just Google free piano VST, you get a ton of them. And this one is hands on one of my favorites, if not my favorite. My rating is a 4.99 out of 5. I'll explain why I'm deducting it the 0.01. It's kind of for a minor reason, but I do think, you know, I'm always transparent. I'm always honest about the good and the bad when it comes to plugins. But I'll also get to that a little bit later in this video as to why I had to kind of mark it down and not give it the perfect rating. Now, obviously, this is the GUI, or the graphical user interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my track. This is basically the, my cinematic VIP of my track, Bass Fire. Obviously, on the series, not only do I show you how the plugin sounds, but I show you how I've used it in an actual track, right? So to give you some, you know, basically uh preview of the track, I know some shameless self-promotion. It's basically like a cinematic track, hence the name. Uh, so it starts like this. Right, so you kind of hear the piano in the mix right now. And then, I might as well show you, so this kind of builds up into like a heavy cinematic bass drop. So I'll just play a little bit of the drop, in case you want to hear it, and then I'll jump back to the plugins. so it sounds like this. Basically, like a mini preview, I love making cinematic music. And for this cinematic VIP that I made of my song, Bass Fire, I really wanted a strong piano plugin. And I searched everywhere for what I could find as the most realistic piano plugin that was also free. Because who doesn't like free stuff? Without question, this is the one. And I'm going to solo this right now so you can just hear the piano. And showing you the GUI so I can play it alongside. And also, you have this here. You don't have any special functions here. Sometimes on the other Vasilian Studios instruments, you can have, you know, uh, some unique functions and articulations. This one doesn't, but that doesn't matter to me. Because I'm like, you know what? It's a piano. I, I, I think I just want it to be a piano. Nothing crazy. No crazy effects. Just straight piano. So this is how it sounds on its own. So as you can tell right away, it is an unbelievable piano. I remember even when I released this track on my YouTube channel, one of the comments was, hey, Mark, like, is that a real piano on your track? Like, it sounds like you hired somebody to actually play this melody. And obviously I didn't. I just wrote it in MIDI, threw this free plugin on it, and that was it. And now, as you can tell, too, one big thing I really about this like about this plugin, you can kind of hear this near the end, is the velocity. Now, this is a technique, a great production technique called humanizing. Humanizing is when you basically adjust the velocity of each note that's played so it gives a more human feel. Because if you think about it, if an actual human, and that sounds weird to say, but if an actual human or person, maybe better wording, if an actual person were to play the piano, it wouldn't be all 100 velocity, right? It wouldn't be like dun, 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 right? You had some human qualities to it because we change up what we do but with our fingers, right? So it would be like dun, 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 right? So the velocity or the intensity of how intense you hit each note would change over time, especially if a piece is emotional at one point or dramatic at another point. So as you see here, I manually adjusted the velocity points just to kind of add some flair to it. And I love that this plugin, when you adjust the velocity, it really adjusts the feel of the note. A lot of other plugins will just turn it down, right? It's more of a gain automation when you adjust the velocity or they try to adjust something else. This one, you can clearly hear that the note is very, very different from one velocity to another. And I love that because if you think about it, let's say I have a saxophone. Let's say I'm playing G on a saxophone. And I go, bum, and I just play G. And then let's say I go, bum, and I play it super, super loud. Well, obviously, the second G note that I play is going to be way louder than the first. But if I were to turn it down so that both Gs, the first and the second, would be the same volume, you could tell that they're different, right? By using 
all this air and really, you know, trying to play that G as hard as I can on the saxophone, it just changes the texture and the, the whole concept of that note. And that's what basically Versilian Studios does on this piano plugin. So when I play it again, actually I'll play it from the halfway point, you'll clearly hear, especially when you get to these lower vel velocity notes, how it really gets a whole new texture, which makes it sound unbelievably humanized to the best scale possible. Oh, that's my Ram going crazy. Come on, Ram. Right, especially near that end. I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to, just for... I'm going to do this down really, really low, so you can kind of hear it. Play from the beginning. I know my Ram is going a little crazy there. Right, so you can kind of hear that... Although, obviously, the volume is turned down, naturally, because you're adjusting the velocity, that the texture of the note is... A million times better. Let me turn it up a little bit. Right? You hear that at that point, the whole texture of the note is very, very different, which I love about this plugin. Now, when it comes to the 4.99 rating, which I know is probably a big question that you may have had from the beginning, as to, like, Mark, what? what's the big deal? Why 4.99? And here's the main reason why. When anytime you're playing an instrument, there are technically two sounds that are coming out of that instrument. The first is the actual note of the instrument. So with a piano, if I play a chord, like a C chord, you're hearing the C chord. But the second thing that is also a kind of a side effect is that you're also hearing the sound of the actual instrument being played. So what I'm going to solo this again. And what you're going to hear, and I want you to kind of hear this super, super closely, is you're going to hear that not only can you hear the note, obviously, but you can also hear kind of the texture of the key hitting the wood of the piano. You can hear the, the instrument being played. So I'm going to play one more time, and you kind of hear almost the slapping, so to speak, of the keys. Right, you can hear that dun 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 They have almost like a percussive element. Right, you can almost hear the dun 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 like of the, each key being played. That's the main reason why I'm giving this a 4.99 out of 5, is that that quality, or that sound, is super important for any instrument, right? That gives it that huge huge true feel of oh my god did you hire somebody to play a piano for this one section right it gives it that authentic piano feel the one thing i don't like about that sound though in this one case is that while i like it i think it's a little too loud i do wish that it was turned down a little bit or if there was some type of option i know it'd be a weird one to kind of implement but there's some type of weird option because what this almost sounds like is they put the microphone right next to the key itself so when they played it not only are you getting the note but you're hearing the wood slapping sound and at certain points when I play this uh, VST, the wood slapping sound is so close to the sound of the original note that it kind of conflicts a little bit. Let me see if I can play this on a... Uh, is my keyboard not working? Uh, I'll just play this again. Right? Like, you kind of hear a little bit more than I'd like. Uh, come on, play it. So I'll just click with my mouse because my keyboard's not working right now. Um, but, like... So, as you can hear, oh, it's crashing. Well, and it takes up a little bit of RAM, too, as you can see. Because <laughs> my RAM has been going crazy this entire video. I'm also filming this while also recording uh, the video. Um, uh, did Ableton crash? Uh, I might have. Anyway, that was actually, I mean, I was about to finish up the video there anyway. Um, but basically, as you can hear, basically, this is an amazing plug-in. Super, super versatile for your productions. Does take up a little bit of RAM, as you can Clearly see right now. But besides that point, you know, it's an amazing plugin, especially for any kind of authentic piano sound that you want. The velocity changes in it are phenomenal. You have your attack to case, sustain, and release, obviously on your envelopes. You have reverb, volume, and pan. That's really all you need, I think, for a good piano sound. I mean, that's truly all you need to make a really great sound. And like I said, I know the 4.99 deduction, or that 0.01 production to break it down to the 4.99. I know it's a little bit harsh, but I always like to be transparent. And I just do wish that that kind of wood slapping sound was a little bit quieter compared to the actual notes of the piano. But hope you like this video. And remember, I've reviewed so many other plugins, including a bunch of Versilian Studios' plugins. And I have them all listed below in the description.